Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am the two-time, two-time, the Boxer Award winning the Boxer. And I am back on camera for the first time in a while. And I got my Star Wars Tucon because I found me a Return of the Jedi crate. Yeah, this was shopping at EB Games, so I managed to find myself a good deal on this one. Well, compared to what I've seen at other retail prices, so let's see what's in this one, folks. As we open up a box that's dedicated to the end of the original trilogy. First things first. We got ourselves a blankie. So you have uh, Luke and Darth Vader here dueling it out. You also have Commemorative edition is. <laughs> yeah, you got this uh, commemorative edition logo down here. Star Wars Saga. Um, roughly the same size as the Gear of uh, Gears of War blanket I got from Loot Crate all those years ago. I like this one. And let's see what else we got in here. A uh, Boba Fett um, mini planter. So you've noticed a lot of mini planters in in these culture fly ones that I've picked up, like Justice League, uh, Empire Strikes Back, where I got this two quiz had a Yoda mini planter. I think pretty much all of all of the ones I've gotten from like Walmart or whatever have had some sort of Menu planter, except for maybe the Connects one that I got at from Christmas, maybe about 2019, 2018-ish, so, but yeah. Um, I don't do much planting, so this one, I'll check amongst my friends to see who likes to do planting, and they'll, they'll get a Boba Fett. And next up, we got a Jabba the Hutt pin. Yeah, I'm still trying to get used to my new camera, so unfortunately the, um, I don't quite have a good enough uh, lighting setup yet to be able to hold these smaller things up to the camera, as you probably saw with the blanket. But it's one of those things where, like, I want to, uh, like, I want to practice these things and get better, so. Got a job of the hut. The, basically the pose that you see him when he's with Leia. Or when... Uh, Princess Leia uh, when she's in the metal bikini. Speaking of which, we have an art print featuring uh, said bikini. Let's see. Yeah, you can see how dark it is. So, yeah. I'll, um, so yeah, pretty good art print. Basically, um, Darth Vader in the background. You have Luke, of course, uh, Han Solo. And Princess Leia are in the center of it, uh, going from Luke, Han, and Leia up top from down. Then you have Ewok, Lando Calrissian, and more Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Me. And of course, just like with the Empire Strikes Back, the box itself is uh, served as a, as a lunch box. So, over the, I seem to have collected a few lunch boxes. Got this Empire Strikes Back and an Earthworm Jim lunch box. So, yeah. Overall, I feel like I got what I paid for out of this one. I think it was $25 Canadian. So, I'd say that for me, the print would be 4 or $5. 
the blanket for me uh, would probably be like maybe around 15 to 20, depending on how I feel. Um, the pen would be maybe about a dollar or two, so depending on my mood, I feel like I got my money's worth. Yeah, overall, I like this crate. So, the lunch box would be at would be th like five to ten dollars. So yeah, I feel like I feel like I got my money's worth out of this one. Uh, I know it's been a while since you've. Well, I guess not a while. I did the uh, Royal Rumble reviews. So that said, thank you for watching, folks. I finished off the uh, the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play. I think I finished up the wrestling matches. They coincided pretty much uh, for what I've had on my last thing on my laptop. And I'm closing in on 500. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do for my 500 special. That'll probably be the last like um, special that I worry about in terms of the milestones like I did. The 100th was my first cooking video. 200 was actually the first episode of the Let's Play that I guess never got around to continuing until this past, I guess, maybe July or August. Mm, 300 was when I tried Papa John's for the first time with my friend Paul, who is also a fellow in the Box of the Award winner. And 400 was the Grouse Mountain video. So... I have to figure out what I'm going to do for 500, but I'm not going to worry about it. That'll be the last one that I worry about for the milestone videos for a while. Like when I get to, like, say, 600 and 700, I'm not going to worry about the 100 specials or the milestones. I'll just work on, I'll just treat them like, say, 427 or whatever. You know, just. I find that it, it can get to be frustrating time trying to find something special to do, especially nowadays when you have the pandemic. You know, it really just restricts the filming that I would like to be doing. I'd like to get more familiar with this camera so I can work on it, so I can make better videos and try to improve the work that I'm doing because I enjoy doing these things. I don't make money off of it. I do it because I enjoy it. And I want that to come across and... That's going to mean just trying to find ways to improve what I do. Whether it be cinematography, filmography, whatever. You know, just I want to find better ways to do this. So for those of you who have been with me from the beginning, thank you. I know it's been a long road. Some of you have actually been watching since... Uh, Chrono Remix Video 3. Uh, a lot of you have come aboard because of all the wrestling videos. Like I said, I've cleaned up what I've had on my laptop. So, I probably won't have anything new in that respect until we get to do, until they can do shows again. So, bear with me. We'll, we may be waiting a while. And that's about it, folks. Thank you for watching. I am the two-time, two-time, the box of the world winning the boxer, and that's all, folks. See you next time.